Hey there, true believers! I'm Funky Monkey. Welcome to my house of love! Subsequently, welcome to another episode of Isn't It Time? As you may have noticed, we're dipping once again into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But today's subject has been cruelly cast aside, left in the shadows, forgotten even. But why? What is so wrong with the movie about the man without fear? What is the problem with Daredevil? Released in 2003, Daredevil follows the titular crime fighter as he battles perennial Marvel villain the Kingpin with the aid of female warrior Elektra against the deadly accurate hitman Bullseye. Receiving decidedly mixed reviews, could this movie be a fearless front facer, or is it only for the blind? Well, let's find out as we fearlessly fly into the face of Daredevil. The tale of Matt Murdock begins with his father Jack. Battle and Jack was a boxer, find himself a nickname, the Devil. Then he got in with gangsters. Then disaster struck, as young Mac was chemically blinded. Lucky for him, his remain in senses was greatly amplified giving him a kind of sonar sense. Devil Jack went back to boxing while Matt continued his studies. But he didn't know he never stopped working for the gangsters. Miller, Matt, Bendis, they're all my fighters. Turns out Devil Jack wouldn't play the game. and he went to his fate an honest man. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> excuse me. Ladies and gentlemen, a moment for Jack the Devil Murdoch. And on we go! Matt has kept his promise, and lives as lawyer by day, and today, the truth will come out, and vigilante by night. Now just you hold your horses there, Mr. Matthew Murdoch type fella. You're daredevil, not lemming man. The story really picks up with the appearance of a mystery woman. Jennifer Garner, lad. I'd leave well enough alone. Matt Murdock. Nice to meet you. I didn't get your name. I didn't give it. Matt, Matt, mate, mate, Matt, mate, no. Just take it as a sign. Just take it as a sign and move on. She duels our hero for the honour of revealing her name. <laughs> so does every guy have to go through all this just to find out your name? Try asking for my number. <laughs> no. My name's Electra Nachos. Her father, Nicholas, is a businessman, 
Only his business involves one Wilson Fisk. Nicholas would prefer it not. I'm getting out, Wilson. I am out. But Fisk has other plans. I want you to create a paper trail, one that can be traced to not yours. Sir? The press want a kingpin, so I'll give him a kingpin. Plans that involve Bullseye, as portrayed here by Colin Farrell. Oh, we've all been there. Well, I haven't. I've been quite lucky on my infrequent plane trips, not to have to sit next to the well-meaning but deathly dull old dear. Exactly. So, I said... She's sleeping. Yeah, sleeping. <laughs> Let's move on quickly. <laughs> Matt and Electra share a romantic evening. I'm telling you, this, I mean, I, the temperature dropped two or three degrees. <laughs> Matt and his friend Foggy Nelson attend an uptown party. Come on, we might never get a chance like this again. Come on, let's go. But Fisk reveals his plan. Not just leaves in a hurry. But Bullseye's already on the trail. And so, Bullseye and Daredevil square off. Passes Nicholas Nachios, noble son of Greece. Electra blames Daredevil for her father's murder and vows revenge. Which leads her to unwittingly stab her lover in the shoulder. Remorseful about stabbing a blind man who wasn't actually attacking you. Where do you get off, Miss Electra Nutch? I'll spare you the rant. And believe you me, it would be a doozy. I don't want to talk about it, but let's just move on. Let's move on. But Bullseye's still out there. And after a short fight, This amoral assassin goes two for two. Across town, in the church, Daredevil puts paid to this sharp shooting shamrock. Let's bring on the noise. And so the stage is set for our finale. Daredevil faces the Kingpin and almost loses. But there's water in those pipes. Know then that Hell's Kitchen has a guardian devil. A devil named Matt Murdock. Guardian Devil. So then, is it time you gave Daredevil another chance? What can I say? A large portion of this movie works. The backstory's handled well, Affleck's Matt Murdock is at least passable and believable. Colin Farrell's impulsive, compulsive bullseye is politically incorrect perfection. The film moves along during its plot-heavy scenes. Where it really falls down for me, is in the convoluted romance between Matt and Electra. If she'd been a more ethereal presence, I'd have gladly recommended this movie. But even in a svelte hundred-ish minutes, the romance scenes, the funeral of Nicholas Nachos, 
It all serves to make the movie drag. Adding to this my own distaste for Jennifer Garner, which is another matter entirely, and all that I can say is no. It isn't time you gave Daredevil another chance. Perhaps the director's cut would be more to my taste. Sadly, I haven't had the chance to see the director's cut of Daredevil. But if I do get the chance, I'll no doubt tell you about what I thought of it, in the fullness of time. Anyway, thanks for watching, and join me next week for more fun and frolics. So long, folks! Hi, I'm Robbie's sister. I guess that's plain to see. When we watch cartoon cartoons, I'm happy as can be. I think Samurai Jack's cool. Dexter's laboratory. I miss watching Power Puff. I miss watching TV. We're living on the tour bus, ain't that bad? But I feel like I lost all that I had on Cartoon Network. I miss you so. On Hope you've learned a lesson here. Treasure what you have. Don't